Uh, for the indicated function, find the values of f of negative 11. This is great because this is all conditional statements, right? So we have our functions or expressions, if you want, right there. But it's only if, and it's conditional on what x is on the right, okay? So in other words, if x is negative 10 or less than negative 10, then we're going to use this expression to solve. If it's between negative 10 and 6, then we're going to use this expression. So for example, on this one, the x value is negative 11. So negative 11 is less than negative 10, so I'm going to use this expression. So I've got 3x squared minus 100, but I'm replacing x with the negative 11. And I didn't do that very well, but that's good. So I've got 3 times 121 minus 100. That's not the absolute value, too, sorry. So what is that? 363 minus 100, which would give us uh, 263. So f of negative 11 equals 263. Well, what about when x is negative 4? Well, that falls in this range, so I'm going to use this expression here. So I've got f of negative 4 equals x cubed, but x is a negative 4. So that would give us a negative 64. You can put that in the calculator. So. All right, and 15, so when x is 15, then it falls in this range. So we're going to use this expression, uh, f of 15 equals 2 times 15 plus 8, so 38. And that's, we, we've already seen graphs like this. So where x is negative 10, we got 3x squared minus 100. I mean, maybe you're looking at something like this. But then it stops at 100, where x is 100, so we'd have a closed circle there. And then uh, from x cubed, where it's negative 10, then it opens up back. It would open up maybe somewhere up here. I may have that completely wrong. And you're really Okay. Well, the graph may look, sorry, <laughs> something like this. We've seen something kind of like that before. All right, so what about f of 6? Well, see how this one is, this one doesn't include 6 in that one, right? So that means that I'm not, I can ignore that one because 6 is not included because it's not equal to it. It just needs to be greater than 6. This one does include 6, though, right here because it's x is less than or equal to 6. So I would choose this one right here, x cubed. So that would be 6 cubed. I don't know what that equals. Pretty big number.